good Stretters and welcome to Cut Style Strut where I'll show you how to DIY your own fabulous clothing that are perfect for a girl on the go. Then we'll style them so that you can strut your stuff day or night. This week I'll demonstrate to you how to create and style this crop top. I'm designer and host Lola Wusu and this is Cut Style Strut. Let's get started. Today we're going to be making a matching crop top to the skirt we made last week. There's a link down below in case you missed it. We're going to be using this wonderful jersey knit fabric that we used last time. I'm using about a yard, but this time in plum. Here's what you'll need. Measuring tape. Chalk to make marks on your fabric washers or any lightweight to hold your fabric while you're cutting. Pins, I like the long kind with the yellow on top. Sewing shears, the sharper the better. A pencil and notepad to write down any measurements or notes that you have along the way. And a seam ripper for any unexpected mistakes that may come along. For those of you who don't know, this is Sheila. She's going to be assisting us in our measurements today. We're only going to need three measurements for this crop top. The first measurement will be around your underbust. The second measurement around your neckline. And the third measurement will be the width you would like the bust of your crop top to be. Now we're going to mark our fabric for cutting. What you want to do is fold your fabric right sides together with salvage edge and matching, and then pin along the salvage edge. Now we'll mark our measurements for the bust piece. I'm taking Sheila's neckline measurements and marking it on my fabric with chalk. Her neckline's 32 inches, and we're going to allow a fourth inch seam allowance. So that means we'll add a half inch to all of our measurements. Then you'll mark the bust width which in Sheila's case was eight inches, so we'll be marking eight and a half inches. Once you've done that, you'll measure from the salvage edge along the fabric, making marks as a guide to cut along. Next, we're going to mark our measurements for the waistband. I'm making a two and a half inch waistband, so I'm marking three inches all the way along the fabric. Then you'll use your underbust measurements to determine how long the waistband will be. Time to cut. Take your washers or your weights and place them on your fabric. I'm using an extra pair of drawer knobs to bling up the place a bit. Cut along the dotted lines you made for your waistband. Then you'll cut the waistband from what will now be your bust piece. Now we're on to stitching the bust piece. Line up your fabric and be sure to stretch a little while you sew. Reference my last video to see how much to stretch and sew. Once you stitch one side, lay flat and pin the opposite side so it won't shift. Stitch that side just like you did the other. Once both sides are stitched, you will have a long sleeve like this. Reach right in, flip it right side out. Grab your iron and press the seams flat. 
Now you're going to connect the bust piece to the waistband. Fold one side of your waistband in half. Mark the center with pins and lie it right side up on the table. Take your bust piece and line one side up with the bottom of your waistband. Secure with pins. Take your other side of your bust piece and line the other side and secure with pins. Then take the other side of your waistband and line it right side down on top of your bust piece. Secure with pins and you're ready to stitch. Stitch along the edge of the waistband. To get a nice finished edge on the waistband, flip the waistband up and pin right sides together. Push the bust piece down into the waistband and pin until you can't go any further. So you wanna make sure you push the bust piece down so it won't get caught as you stitch. Once you go as far as you can go, flip the waistband right sides out, pin the opposite side, and stitch the same way. Once you've finished your waistband, you should have a small opening at the bottom. Fold the edges in and press with your iron. So next you're going to do a blind stitch on the edges to close the opening. Take a look at my last video if you need a reminder on how to blind stitch. But basically you'll just be taking your needle back and forth without going through the fabric all the way. After you're done, double stitch over itself to finish it off. Our last step is to stitch the waistband closed. Line up the top and bottom of the seams together and pin. Make sure when you stitch it closed that you go back and forth about three times on your stitch. You know what time it is, let's style. We've paired our crop top and pencil skirt with this suede fringe shrug from Nasty Gal for only $47.60. Add a little sparkle with these crystal drop earrings from Nordstrom's for only $34. Make a bold statement with this teal oversized clutch also from Nordstrom's for only $44.95. And complete your look with these navy suede lace up sandals from Steve Madden for only $109.95. For more tips, hacks, and fashion DIYs, subscribe to us on YouTube and be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Cut Style Strut. Until next time, ladies, work hard, pray hard, and slay hard. Cut, style, and strut with Lola.